Hey guys, Kobe Place here. Today, um, this year we're doing another <laughs> track making tutorial. Uh, this is part two of my other one. Of course, it's gonna be laggy. This is a 250, by the way. I got some new sounds in that. So hashtag awesome. Today we'll be doing some um, jumps and berms. So I've already started. Um, we'll be talking about decals on my next one. Which are uh, what I'm riding on right now, like the texture. Um, you see those hills over there? Yeah, they're just for random lols. I just put them in, because YOLO, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, so we'll be doing like ruts, berms, rollers, whoops, jumps, all that um, whatnot, and uh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, do some uh, awesome stuff today. Anyways, uh, so um, we're just gonna teach you the simple. We're gonna teach you some simple ways on how to do stuff. Or if you want more detailed berms and jumps and all that, just uh, follow along. Righto. So first thing, you got your track laid out. You can use tile map edit. I changed my tile map by the way. It's all sand. Looks sick and feels sick right so as you can see I've already put a berm down here what I like to do is I like to put my focus up to 100 my um, radius down to 54 strength down to 1.75 and zoom to 2.50 okay um, so as you can see we've got a uh, uh, berm here um, we're going to go whoops, gradient placement gradient and we'll be doing a rut for this one so rut so I drag it to the start point that's that little cross there is the start point end point is this little thing this little thing that I'm dragging right now and um, we're gonna be dragging it in like that and I'm gonna make this a little bit of a rut here so then you just want to go gradient edit which is right here and you want to zoom in quite a fair bit right so we're in okay make a little triangle to start off with and make it really really super small okay since it's a rut you want it to be small make it curve make it curve right and then you're gonna make a little dip here for the little thing that's in the middle so like a little dig hole majigabob thing where you dig deep into Anyways, um, that's it there, and that's your that's your rut basically. So, um, where you want to go? You want to go to radial add, since it's a berm or a rut thing. And I'm actually going to make my radius smaller for this, just so, just because you know ruts are small. And you just want to paint this along this line here. That's the outside, like the outside of this little circle here, is um our little guide line sort of thing. Sorry about lagginess. Can't speak to them. That's a really good rut. I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, so if you're happy with it, oh, press up, uh, press U if it says update needed here, and then just save here. If you're happy with it, if you're not happy with it, you just press backspace and it gets rid of it. Right, um, that's our little uh, thing over here done, our little rut. I'm going to teach you how to do a berm here somewhere, I think. Right now, we're going to do braking bumps. So, little bumps on the track, little random bumps on the track. Um, that sort of warn you to slow down, sort of guess. I don't know. You're put it, gonna put it to raise, and you're gonna put it to about 0.25, or maybe even. No, let's go really small and just go uh, zero, minus zero, negative zero. And you just want to start drawing it across. That even could be a little big. Let's just take a look at that. 
Yeah, that's too big. So you want to go smaller. You can even take the radius, drop the radius down a little bit. Um, actual radius, like the top one here, this indicates two feet. So yeah, that's how small you want it to sort of be. I want mine to be that. And you want to drop your strength. I'm going to drop my strength to about, yeah, minus the negative 1.75. Let me just draw it across here. You can make it all wonky, do whatever you want. Now, of course, you really can't see that. There it is. Okay. So, that's one of our braking bumps. Now, you just want to keep doing that across whole thing. Gonna make them a little bit wonky now. And just put one in between there. You want it to be sort of random as well. Alright. Once you got that, you just want to go lower and lower in between every single one of them. If I can see like that. It's really hard to see these things. Okay, like that. And like that and that is your braking bumps they um can sort of makes makes the track a little bit rougher and a little bit more realistic if you uh, ask me um yeah, well, not stuff to put a little bit more in there yeah it just makes the track a little more realistic and um yeah uh, gradient going lower and you know you can put a rut through this. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, um, I think that's it there. Okay. Oops. God, sorry guys, I don't have any control. That's a bit hard. I've got a little rut now, a little burn, which I'll teach you how to make in a second. Got our little braking bumps. Okay, that looks good. Right, next we're gonna do a little bit of a burn. Uh, so we're gonna go gradient placement, new gradient. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and uh, bring that back up. 175, radius 54. Okay, and drag to your start point and drag this to your end point. Now this is the exact same way you do it with um, 180 degree corners. So yeah, um, it's pretty easy, you just go gradient edit. Now this is the simple way to do it, I like doing it this way just because it's quick, easy and simple. Okay, and you drag it to a triangle like that and each one of these squares indicate two feet so this is two four about five feet five feet about and just go radial add radial paints go back to about 250 and I'm gonna draw my radius just a little bit there we go beauty and that gives you your berm and you just want to smoothen it just a little bit so we'll just put it to 150 and drop that radius okay and just give that a good old smooth. That should make it cleaner burn. That's a clean burn. I think we can just leave this as a bit of a straight here. And um, I think what we're gonna do in this little thing here is like one of those uh, um, little bump things that you go over. Uh, so we're going to do a bit of uh, raising and we're going to zoom in. Okay, and we're going to up our radius. Okay. Now that's going to be massive, so you just want to drop that, drop my radius. Okay, and um, drop my strength just to 1.25. About that, I reckon. Now let's take a look, we'll smooth it out of course, because that will be massive and sketchy as. So give that a good, 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 okay, oops, 
know why? Okay, you know what? I'm not that happy with that. So backspace it. Backspace. Backspace. Okay, it's under undone the whole thing. And focus. Let's get this. It so this little dot in this like the cur. I don't know if you can see my cursor or anything. But this little middle circle is the highest point, and the outer circle is the like where it starts. So I'm going to drop my focus just to about that and uh, backspace because that didn't really do much anyways 175 again and just get that going no what well, that's smoothing it I might like to raise it <laughs> anyways um I think that, that looks a little better that does look a little bit better but we want to smooth that out a little bit. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. Hope that offended nobody. That is way too much smoothing. We need to drop our strength. Yay! Okay. I don't know. Stop acting weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is um really really sketchy. So you just want to smooth it out until you're satisfied. Really. Um. Oh my god, I suck at this. <sighs> right, that looks a little better. So if you come from this corner here. Oh, whoops. Accelerated too early. And that'll work better for you guys because I just suck at this game. Anyway, let's put a grey, let's put a right in here, up in here. Okay, and you just wanna go. Oh, come on! What's going on? There we go. Beauty. I'll just hold up that beautiful. Alright, and you just wanna go grey. Edit and make a little rut. Doop, doop. Okay. Curve it, okay. Drop it, and of course, do a little dip thingy here. Curve. Ready to add. Put oh, ready to add, ready to paint. Zoom that in a whole heap. Okay, good on me. <laughs> okay, scratch that idea, I think. And um, right, if you want to do a really like detailed berm, just follow my steps here. Um, can I extend that? No, stop. Anyways, uh, on here, that's right. Blah 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 blah. Drag that out here because that's gonna be nice. Um, go do new gradient. I have no idea what I just said then. Anyways, and you just want to drag it to your berm. Oops. One. Drag it to you where your berm will, you'd like your berm to be. Okay, and done that. And I'd like it a little bit over there, and like it a little bit there. Okay, just get ready. Edit now. Follow my steps very carefully. Right, so I want this to be just a five foot one again. And you want to make all these curves. Okay, curve them up. Okay, and add a line, add a line in there. And that's just going to sort of make it a little bit of a, more of a uh, sort of good feeling. I think it's like a, I don't know, whatever. Up to you guys, whichever one you like better. You just come in, whichever one you like better. Um, and yeah, you just want to sort of drag it around like that. And you, of course you want to smooth it. And uh, bump that up. Not too much. 125, that'll do. And yeah, that should. Oh, <laughs> didn't realise that was gonna happen. Anyways, um. And if you realise, if you realise, I'm not changing gears that much. A, I'm on automatic shifting, and B, this is the 
sand track, so you don't get as much track, tra bleh, traction. Okay, that looks like a good, smooth burn. Right, this section here, I think just gonna do a whoop section. I don't know how much we're, we're at right now, but actually you know what, uh, I'm gonna leave it here uh, for this video. My next video will be on how to do whoops, ruts, all that other stuff. Wh I mean whoops and jumps. Anyways, um, thanks for watching guys. Um, comment, feedback, and like, and see you in my next video. See ya. Bye. Yes I can, doubt better leave, I'm running with this plan Pull me, grab me, grab us in the bucket, can't have me I'll be the president one day, January 1st